Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. So this is Angular 16 CRUD series and this is part 8 video where we implement the pagination. Okay, let's add the pagination Angular material pagination component at the top here. Okay, first let's check our JSON server supports pagination or not. So if you go to the documentation, here you can see it supports pagination. Okay, so for pagination, we have to pass two query parameters like underscore page and underscore limit. So page represents page number, current page number, and underscore limit represents size of the page. Means number of records we want to fetch for the request. Okay. By default, if you don't specify limit, it will send 10 records. To implement pagination, we need to know in JSON, we will get this response, right? Along with this records response, we need to know total number of records present at the server. Okay. So total number of records will be given by JSON server, but it will come as a header value. If you inspect element and network call and refresh the API again, okay. And if you go to the call and in the response headers, okay, the response header, you can found a custom header like X total count. So total number of records is 80. Okay. So total number of records will come as a response header. So it will get this response header only when we have a query parameter like underscore page. If you don't specify the uh, page underscore page, it won't return the X total count. Okay. Let me show you again. I am removing the query parameters. Okay. Refresh the page. And if I check the network call, you can observe there is no X total count header. That means it will come only when the uh, API call contains underscore page as a query parameter. Okay. So let's first modify our API call to read both API response and the header value. Okay. Okay. Here let's add two more input parameters like current page. Okay. That will be a number and page size. Okay. That is also a number. Okay, now what I will do, I'm going to directly assign this query parameters itself here. Okay, so what are our query parameters? Like underscore page. Okay, so let's add it here underscore page equal to our current page number. Okay, let's change it to tactics to make it dynamic url okay so current page um percent what is another thing underscore limit okay so underscore limit equal to page size okay so here we are making by default uh, current page and page size as default query parameters to our API. So here we need to change some logic. Okay. So that is like now by default we will have query parameters, right? So in the sort column here it should contain ampersand. Okay. And here uh, we no need to check these conditions. Okay. Directly take this line. Okay, and add it here. Okay, that is because previously we are checking whether query parameter is already exist or not. Those conditions don't need here now because we definitely have a query parameter like underscore page and underscore limit. And to read 
the x total count header i need to change the response type as well here okay let me change the response type here to ttp response okay so that comes from here okay and http response i can specify like any okay and here just remove the or here also change like http response any okay now let's go to our all superheroes ps component okay first thing we have to change the return type right and here it is expecting some input parameters so here i am going to declare two variables page index okay number so index represent starts from zero okay so initial value i will give like zero and page size default page size let me give it to five records and it should be a number five records now i can pass these two variables okay so but page number should be starts from one right so page index while passing to the api make sure to uh, plus one okay so this dot page index plus one will be our current page number okay and the page size right so we solved this problem method input error now we have to work on the response type because now i want to read both api response and the header value so let me change this to response for convenience okay and response dot body as so this body is nothing but our json response okay so i will convert it as json response i will convert it as uh, superheroes array so superheroes array and here now i can read the uh, x total count header value also so to read the x total count and we have to store it somewhere right so i am going to create one more variable like total records okay that will be a number and initially zero okay and here this dot total records equal to response dot headers dot get and to this get method we have to pass the our header name so what is our header name so the text total count somewhere here so copy this header name okay and give it here okay if that exists okay by default it will return number okay so string so we will convert it as a number okay if the response is not exist our count is zero so before testing our site i forgot to mention one more thing to read the response object okay here we have to specify an object like observe and in the string response okay now if we go to our application now see we are getting five records because initial size of the record we specified to five right so here we specified five right so we are getting just five records initially now we have to integrate these values like page index and page size to our pagination component okay so for that let's go to angular material website and go to components and go to paginator okay so let's copy this sample okay 
So copy this sample. Okay, go to our all super areas component.html and then next to our search text box, add this page native component. So before adding directly, let's give a div here because I cannot use mat form field on the page native component and also give this style here to this div. Okay. And it is error that is because we haven't imported the namespace. So go to API section and copy the mat paginator module and get back to our app module. Okay, and add it over here and add it in the imports array object as well. Okay. Now I think error must be resolved. Yes, it is resolved. Okay. Now if I go to the website. Okay, now here nicely we are getting the page nation. Okay, now let's do some configuration for it. Okay, here length represents total number of records. Okay, let's assign that variable here. So total number of records. Okay, so assign. And the page size represents our page size variable. Okay, so copy that page size variable and configure it. Okay, and these five ten the range of page size. This makes helps to change our page size dynamically. Okay, like twenty five hundred like that we can change. So here I will change it to five, ten, and fifty. Okay, because I have only eighteen records, right? And there is one more option like we can configure like page index. Okay, current page index. So here I will as a so this is the property of the paginator. Okay. And to that I am going to as a page index variable. Okay. Let's see now. Based on the total count, it is showing. Okay. So if I click, it is going next page, but content is not refreshing because we are not invoking the API call on clicking these values. Okay. So to do that, what I will do, I need to create a page event. Okay. So before creating the event, let's uh, write a method for that event. Okay. So method like handle. Page event. Okay. Handle page event. Okay. So it's going to get the input of the page event. Okay. Page event. Here I can change the index value. This dot page index value equal to e dot page index. Current page. So whenever what is the index of this click. Okay. So that will be comes from the page event and next this dot page size. Okay. So e dot page size. If you change the page size, then this value will be assigned here. Okay. That comes from the page event. So this page event where it is coming means you can check the imports here. I think it is automatically imported. Page event that comes from the Angular Material Paginator. Okay, so let's get back to our method. And now I simply call the just API call, just like our text search. Okay, parting column and controller column. Okay, I will copy here and add it here. Okay, now this page event must be registered with our uh, paginator page event that is like events starts with bracket side. Right? So page you can see here intelligence. Okay. And event. And here we need to pass the dollar dot. Int as the input. Okay. Now if I go to our application now it should trigger the API call. Because we registered the event right for any change on the paginator. So if I change to next, next five records I am seeing. 
I say click next, next six, 15 records. Okay. If I change here 15, see, I'm getting 15 records. Page size change also, it is getting. If I change 10, I will get 10 records. This is also good, right? And let's make it to five records. And now I am in second page, right? Six to 10 records, right? So if I search like, okay, F10, see, data is not coming because I am in the second page, but the content total records are only two. That means first page only. Means these records need to be reset, right? So for that, what we can do in the search and uh, and in the text text search method and uh, do sorting method, we will reset the default values of the page size and the page index. Okay. So page size and page index, I want to reset. So that any other properties changes, right? So at that time it will automatically uh, reset back the page numbers. Okay. Page index zero. Page size five. Okay. And also add this logic, reset logic in the text search as well. Okay. Okay, now let's go and I am in second page. I will set some data. Okay. See, I am in second page six to ten. If I click search, see now I am able to see and this a page pages also reset. Okay, that is because whenever another external filter is applied, we are resetting our pagination. Then we get exact page name. Okay. So that is how we can implement the pagination using our angular paginator component okay so that is the end of this video we have implemented entire crud sorting search and pagination thank you so much for watching this video i hope this video delivered some useful content to you all if you like the video please do support by subscribing to the channel and also please don't forget to like and share the video Soon we are going to meet with new content. Until then, signing off.